David started out as a production assistant on a programme called Animal, Vegetable or Mineral, which obviously left quite an impression on him. Good evening and Dobri Vecher. I'm sure I've said that wrong, but I have to say it that way because tonight the challenging museum is the National Archaeological Museum of Prague. And here is the first object. Ah, <coughs> lovely, isn't it? A very spirited animal, Glenn. And obviously like our spirited chairman from the, from the Celtic fringe. Now, how are we getting on? There are two things you can always say under these circumstances. Either it's a ritual object, mm. or else money. There's always two. You can always say one or two, That's one or the other. Okay. And that is, is money. Ritual oh. <laughs> 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 and they're what uh, my Hungarian colleagues would call a peach elbow. Well, it's a sort of silica of some kind. It's a sort of it is volcanic. It is it a volcanic, material, yes, yes. Material. Two marks, two yes, marks. Yes, two marks. Yeah. <laughs> After yeah. how many are we doing? <laughs> yes. And it shines like this. Is it a clear? It shines quite good. Mm. Is it something you use for yes. looking into? Yes, oh, yes, right. yes. A mirror? Well, no, really. Is it very, really? Yeah, really, oh. very, oh, very see, good. Yes, that's... Oh. 2000 BC. Oh, wow. Good. Yes, very good. So I'm going to give you three marks. It feels as though David's always been on our screens. But there was a first time in 1955. We hatched a scheme with the London Zoo to go and collect animals. And it was going to be presented from the studio with little bits of film, which we would shoot out on location in Africa. And then the man from the zoo would show these pythons or whatever. Sierra Leone. We were going to look for a bird called uh, Picathartes gymnocephalus. No one had seen its nest and very few people ever seen it alive. Us, and so the, the zoo wanted one, and that's what we went for. In addition to Picathartes, we hope to take back to London a representative collection of the whole of the animal life of this part of Africa. That's Jack Lester. He was keeper of the reptile house in the London Zoo, in charge of the whole trip. And our job was, was filming him. A Gaboon viper, and just as deadly as the cobras, but when Jack heard of it, he was delighted and came running, anxious to catch such a handsome snake for his reptile house in the zoo. But we were able to produce some magic of our own. For while the dance had been going on, I had been recording the music on my tape recorder. This, of course, was the object of a great deal of curiosity. And I always played the recording back and let the singers listen to themselves on a little earphone. Blank astonishment was always followed by huge grins of delight. <laughs> yes, I love David Attenborough's program. <laughs> <laughs> That's remarkable. Dear Jack got very ill as a result of this trip and the BBC said, OK, well, if Jack Lester can't appear because he's in the London School of Tropical Medicine, Attenborough, go down and do it. And that's the only reason I appeared in this thing at all. A month ago, Charles Lagos and I returned from spending four months in search of a dragon. But we weren't going to keep our eyes shut on the way. We were going to look at many other things. That's what zoos did. A, so that people could see the wonders of the world. B, so that they could learn about them, so scientists could learn about them. And C, so that you could learn how to, you might be able to breed them. All of which are perfectly laudable propositions. And I still think zoos have got a very good function, but you can't go catching in the free way that we did 50 years ago. and you've got to provide them with much better cages than we did. Enclosures would be a nice word. I think with dismay at some of the birds that we happily put in aviaries. I don't think birds of prey should be kept in aviaries. Really. 